And uh, thank you, Chairman Powell, uh, for being uh, here again today. Georgia is in a serious housing crisis, and uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta has designated owning a home in Atlanta as unaffordable to the average home buyer. But it's not just a city problem. Uh, it's urban, it's rural. Harrelson County, a county with a population of less than 30,000, is also rated as unaffordable. In the midst of this housing crisis, uh, the Federal Reserve Bank, which has uh, a tough mandate and a tough time of uh, managing um, inflation, has raised the federal funds rate by 0.75 percent. This means mortgages are about to get a lot more expensive for families. Chairman Powell, as the Fed raises its interest rates, what is the Fed doing to prevent this rate increase from further exacerbating uh, the housing crisis? Well, so by raising rates, um, we're clear, you're, what you're seeing is a slowing housing market now. You're seeing because of, because of higher interest rates, mortgage rates have gone up pretty substantially, and you're seeing a slowing in the housing market. And that should mean, one of the things that should mean is that housing prices should stop going up at such remarkably rapid rates. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we've had, um, you know, a very, very hot labor market, uh, sorry, housing market all around the country. And, you know, what, what should take place is as demand moderates in the, in uh, demand for housing moderates for new, for new and existing homes, you should see prices stop going up quite so fast. You're also, uh, also going to see uh, fewer home sales and just, a, just generally a, a lower rate of activity in the housing market. Um, so really what needs, what needs to happen is housing supply and demand need to get back into better alignment. Um, and, you know, the part of that that we can control is really, is really by moderating demand so that prices stop going up quite so much and that we can get back to a, a housing market where supply and demand are. Now, we, we don't control supply, and there, there's all, there are issues in this country around housing supply. Um, it's harder to get land and lots and things like that. It's harder to get people to work. So there, there are supply side constraints. If you meet with builders from around the country, they will tell you that we have a longer term issue as a country around creating enough housing supply. That is not something that the Federal Reserve can do anything about, but it is an important issue. Right. Notwithstanding that, mortgages are clearly, at least in the short term, uh, are about to get more expensive. And it seems to me that what would be helpful is if the Congress would pass my down payment toward Equity Act uh, to help first generation home buyers afford their first home. What effects do you expect the Fed's interest rate increases will have on the, well, let me put it this uh, another way. The Federal Reserve helps enforce the, the Fair Housing Act and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. What plans do you have to ensure that as interest rates increase everyone still has access to a fair, reasonable price mortgage. So the higher interest rates don't change our very important obligations under fair, the fair credit laws that we enforce. And so we'll continue to enforce those, um, you know, transparently and, and uh, aggressively. Um, uh, it, 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 is, it is true, though, that mortgage rates have gone up and, and that will slow down demand and that will be there, there's some pain involved in that for people paying higher mortgage rates, and also some people will be priced out of the mortgage market. But that is ultimately what, we, what needs to happen if we are to get back to price stability to a place where people's wages aren't being eaten up by inflation. Right. So the, the, pain, the greatest pain would be if we, if we allow this high inflation to just continue. Uh, yeah, I there, guess. will be, right? Yeah. Right, and I guess my, my point is that in, in the meantime, the folks who are on the margins of the marketplace in the first place, we, the issue is how do we protect them as much as possible. R related to that, uh, when Secretary Yellen was here, she stated that the Federal Reserve needed to not only be skillful, but she said, quote, lucky, lucky to ensure, quote, a soft landing. I, I don't like counting on luck uh, when the economic safety of Georgians, particularly those at the margins, is at risk, which is why I'm doing what I can uh, here in the Senate. And I've introduced a couple of bills to lower the price of gas, to lower the cost of groceries and other everyday goods, to cap the cost of insulin and other medication. Uh, and I've held the White House accountable to pursue investigation of price gouging 
of ocean carriers. And I've supported bipartisan legislation addressing the same issue that just became law. How, how can Congress lower costs for Georgia families? And what steps can Congress take to support the Fed and ensure a soft landing? So I, I guess I'd be reluctant to give you uh, advice uh, while we're, we're trying so hard to do our, the job that you've actually assigned us, which is to get inflation back down. But uh, um, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, uh, I think those are, those are authorities that those of you who run for elected office have, and we don't have as, as mere appointees. So that's really up to you. But you, you would agree that the folks at, at the margins of the economy are feeling the most pressure and pain and that has to be addressed. I, I think that's that's always the case. And in the case of inflation, it does. It, it's um, it's really that if you're if you're spending every dollar that you're intaking on the bare essentials of life and they and the, the cost of them goes up 10 percent, you're in trouble right away. Right. Whereas middle class people and, and people better off than that, they've got some resources, some ability to deal with it. So that's, but that's why it's such a priority to, for us to get on top of inflation before it does become entrenched. Inflation's only now been around for, you know, we've been, it really didn't start until March of last year. So it's, it's not at all too late for us to, to get this job done and get back onto the kind of path we all want to be on. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm concerned about this, and it's why in the meantime I've introduced several bills to lower the cost for essential items like gas and groceries and, and medication. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you, Senator.